Hey y'all, it's Pastor Earhart here for Small Catechism Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, second article of the Apostles' Creed once again. Um, last time we uh, got together, it was to uh, confess who Jesus is, according to the second article of the Apostles' Creed. Today, uh, we're going to take a look at what Jesus has done for us. So again, the second article of the Apostles' Creed is, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. What does this mean? I believe that Jesus Christ, true God, begotten of the Father from eternity, and also true man, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord, who has redeemed me, a lost and condemned person, purchased and won me from all sins, from death, and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy, precious blood and with his innocent suffering and death, that I may be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness. Just as he has risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity, this is most certainly true. So Jesus Christ is both true God and true man. He is the only uh, God in uh, any religion in the world who claims to be truly and fully God and truly and fully man. You know, there are other religions, like in Greek mythology, uh, Hercules is uh, like a half-god and a half-man, uh, parents of the gods uh, and uh, parents of the, uh, the earth uh, humans. But um, only Jesus claims to be both God and man, fully and truly at the same time. And that's uh, important because only a God who is truly God and truly man could do what Jesus did, and that is to suffer and die on our behalf. So what did Jesus do for us? Well, he redeemed me. That's the second article. The second article is redemption. And to redeem something is uh, to trade it in. Like if you redeem a coupon for a free ice cream, uh, you trade in your, your coupon and you get the ice cream in return. Well, what did Jesus trade in for us? Well, it, was, it wasn't gold or silver or any other kind of currency. Uh, it was his holy precious blood and his innocent suffering and death. He took the place, uh, he took my place uh, under the punishment of God when he hung upon the cross, when he shed his blood. And the blood that he shed bought me back from the powers that, that held me, from my sins, from uh, everlasting death, and from the power of the devil. And so by his death on the cross, Jesus has done something that no other God has done, not just become truly and fully human, but also uh, he loved us to the point of giving up his own life, of shedding his blood on the cross for us. And so Jesus distinguishes, distinguishes himself from, from any other God of human imagination, the only God who truly becomes man in order to suffer and die and shed his blood, to redeem me, to buy me back, and to purchase me uh, from everything that held me captive. That's a good thing to, uh, to contemplate this Lenten season as we uh, approach uh, Holy Week in a few weeks uh, and remember and recount the uh, suffering and death of Jesus Christ. Uh, I encourage you to find a, a good uh, Holy Week services. Uh, don't uh, just skip uh, Maundy Thursday and Good Friday services. Uh, go to church, uh, participate in the liturgy, receive Christ's body and blood that is given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins because he has shed it for you to redeem you and buy you back. All right, so uh, we're going to close now with, uh, with a prayer from uh, Pastor Buto's Catechism Prayer Book from the second article, Part 2. We're only uh, using parts of these prayers. They're a little bit longer um, than the, uh, the couple of sentences that we use as our prayer. Uh, I encourage you to, to pick up a copy. I think it's available on Amazon and uh, probably linked through the Higher Things website as well. Um, and uh, you can uh, use it as part of your devotions as well. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, when I was a slave to sin, you redeemed me. When I was lost, you found me. When I was condemned, you took my place and set me free. When I was sold into death and condemnation, you bought me back with your suffering and blood. When I was a prize of the evil one, you defeated him and won me back to God. When I was dead in trespasses and sins, your blood forgave them 
gave me life. When I was under the curse of death, you triumphed over death for me. When I was under the power of the devil, you rescued me and brought me into your kingdom. All praise and thanks be to you and to you alone, Lord Jesus, for this salvation unearned by me and freely accomplished and given by you. Lord Jesus Christ, I bring to you those who are suffering and who need my prayers on their behalf. I ask that you have mercy upon them, guard them from the temptations of unbelief and despair that their afflictions bring. For the sake of that same blood that was shed for all people, forgive them whatever sins of worry, anger, frustration, or anything else that may overtake them. By your word and spirit, lift up their heads also to behold you and your cross and suffering as their hope and joy. Let their suffering be sanctified by your suffering, so that they may be comforted knowing that you, the Son of God, have shared in all their sorrows and troubles. As you bore their sins on the cross, remind them that you have also borne their infirmities, that their hope and trust in you may never fail. And finally, may all of me at the day of my death always have before me Christ crucified, my only comfort against all sin death, and the devil, and the judgment of the law. Preserve me, Lord Jesus, in that holy faith which clings only to you and trusts you alone for all of my good and everlasting life. I ask it in your name, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, all, uh, it's good to see you again this week. We'll be back next time for another Small Catechism Tuesday. We'll, we'll wrap up the second article of the Apostles' Creed before heading into the, the third and final article on the Holy Spirit and the Holy Christian Church. Till then, God bless and a blessed Lent to you.